All right, welcome back to Glacier Valley. So with the sun now rotating overhead, here's the new iron district. We got the iron mines up. We've got the iron smelter up. And we should have some iron bars, and I believe we're making tools. Yes, let's uh, let's track the tools, why don't we? Uh, yep, you're making tools. Let's go ahead and track those tools. And uh, so we can see where the tools are going and how fast you're making them. I hid the uh, sundial like way over here. Check it out. Nice and hidden where nobody can see it. <laughs> All right. So uh, last time out, I added three mods and I used two of them. Uh, we used the uh, stone gate set version eight and I used the soldiers are back 391 14 bread. Ooh, ooh, wait, this will give me time to think about that second mod that uh, I was going to use. Oh, it was gruel. Yeah, of course. Um, can I unlock this trade right yet? Oh, we need 20 bread. How much bread do we have? 16. I had to bring them back because uh, they were going to die if I kept them out. So they'll go out on one more mission and we'll have enough bread to unlock that trade route. In the meantime, what do I need to do? Remind me, what do I need to do to unlock the weaponsmith? 20 commoners. 20 commoners. 10 citizens. So that's basically, I'm going to have at least 20 commoners and 10 citizens. For all of this. And then we're going to need... Uh, we have 11 Kingdom Influence. We're going to need some more. I'm going to have to to catch the horseman when he comes in from time to time to do that. Bela found another marble deposit. Thanks. Wait a minute. Well, we'll just ignore that and hope it goes away. Mod, you, you, it says you found a marble deposit, but it doesn't look like marble. Okay. So, uh, available for a mandate. We only have one more left at the moment, and that's this one here. Get your food and drinks and rest and etc. and then go out and look for some more. Well, that's strange. Maybe the marble's on the back side of it? I don't know. It's one of those things that I hope they improve with maps. Because I don't... I, because I've made some maps, I don't blame the map makers for that. It's hard to get the rotation of these little mineral nodes correct. We have 112 people, 92 happiness, no unemployed at the moment. Immigration chances are high, so we need to have some more come in. We'll go up to speed too. We are making tools and we're going to need to upgrade people. We're at week four, day six, so we're almost to the next round of promotions. And did anybody ever... <laughs> I may just have to tear down this house. I might. I need some more jobs around here. And uh, we have three of three farmers here, and we are full of corn. Now we have four more villagers. Remind me. Remind me. Uh, fishermen, of course. Let's go over here to the fisher huts. We have two empty ones. This will be Ricolda and Edua. Mm hmm. The Oas. And I... Oh, that's gold. Should I build any more mines? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. I really want to expand some of the iron. And I'd really like to build on more. So, there's the monthly report. Okay, um, the game is interrupting every thought that I have. Yeah. If I could create some jobs here... Well, I tell you what. Uh, I'm going to freeze promotion for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and create a new market right here. Uh, let's see. This is going to be close enough, I think. I think that's going to be close enough. I'm going to create a corn market right here. Boy, I like the way this looks in here. I'm going to create a corn market. Food stall right here. And now uh, we're going to put you in the corner. You're kind of like the, uh, the farmer's market. You know what I mean? And you're going to create some corn. Thing is, you're, that's not going to be built in time. I'm going to have to promote. So what do we got? Let's pay 240 to promote all the newcomers to serfs. And it's Ramnulfulis, the barley miller. And it's Barney, the barley miller. Uh, let's sort by arrival. Dana, where do you live? You live right here. Your house is actually high. I could promote everybody in this house. Look how crowded this is. This is going to be a problem. I could promote everybody in this house. I could do this again. I have looked at everybody that, that uh, lives in this house and they can all be upgraded. 
and it's going to be Aljet and Brangwena to commoner, Katarina, Pippa on Walding Pond, Ethne, the plant deciduous forest. Okay, everybody in this house gets an upgrade to commoner. That house should upgrade. And then, do we have anybody that's eligible for citizens? Boy, we sure do. Mod for first citizen? What do you think? It means she needs luxury. I'm not selling any luxury yet. What's the quickest way to get luxuries? I think the quickest way to get luxuries is to farm herbs with these guys, but I'm not sure how to do it. Like, if I say gather herbs, right? I don't want to actually change it. If I say gather herbs... Where are those herbs? And how do you gather them? Are these considered herbs? Well, let's give it a try. Mod, you become a citizen. Okay. Do I get any tadas? I get no tadas. Uh, the glass smelter is now available. And the jeweler's workshop is available. The gold smelter is available. And that's about it. All right, and this house is still empty. Oh, two of two occupants. Hold on. Eleanor and a note. Eleanor is unemployed, but you're eligible to promote to commoner as well as... Oh, but not a note. A note, what are you? You're unemployed. Okay, how many... I got four days left. I think I just have to wait. Let me wait until you move into your house. You have to go go to your house. There you go. Kaboom. You're in your house. Now, you both should be eligible for promotion. I'm wrong. Right, we got three days left. I, I want to wait this out. Maybe you have to finish going to your house. She's out of her house. Happiness is 100%. <laughs> All right. I wasn't stalking. So now, you both, with two days left, you both ought to be a eligible for promotion. It, let me make sure. It's... Eleanor and a note. There's a note. You're a commoner. Eleanor, you're a commoner. Congratulations. Go upgrade your at that house. I've been waiting for this house to upgrade. And then I'll give you jobs. I'll give you jobs nearby. We'll put one job here. And then why don't we build... We'll build a luxury tent over here. Actually, let's just add on to this one. Luxury goods stall. Yep. Let's add a luxury goods stall over here. With the blue tent. Get that built. And then... I think what I'll do is I'll build a gathering hut. And see if... What, what we can do for... Uh, see if we can figure out how to get... How to get herbs. And I don't want to take anything out. So we're going to put you right here. Go ahead and get that built. And then maybe I'll just circle a bush or something and that'll qualify for herbs. No idea. All right, military missions are available. That's an easy one. I'll prepare my troops right away. We may have too many injured. We don't know. Help requested. Prepare the troops. And uh, the condition of... Yeah, wounded. Okay, right click to get rid of the sword. You're going to take on a sword. You're partly trained. One, two, three, four, five. That's okay. You five plus three villagers are going to go out. It's going to be great. And uh, go ahead and send them. This should maybe give us enough bread to unlock that last trade route. Envoy's approaching the village. It's nice and shady here, isn't it? Uh, you want 30 berries. We have 660 of them. What are we going to need? What are we going to need first? We have 15 Labor Influence, 11 Kingdom Influence, 7 Church Influence. And I would like to get the Tavern first. So this is going to require 20 Labor Splendor. I can put up more tents. We're almost there. We've got 15 Labor Splendor. And you can't see how much influence, but uh, it's going to require uh, some influence. So why don't we do Labor this time? I shall assist the people. And deliver the berries, ta-da! And there we go. 
Uh, something else unlock here? Ah, the harp farm and the brewery. Good, this is a good start. Because remember, I installed the tavern for everyone mod. I think that was what it was called. And maybe the tavern goes right here. This is a nice blank spot. Uh, we're putting corn here. Where should we put? Where should we put? That's not the button. Where should we put the hops? Purchase this territory out here? Yeah, I think so. Why not? Gathering hut built. Mineral deposits were just Okay, Mod has something else to do. Alright, this thing is up. Now. Uh, nothing to report. We're gonna do herbs. And we can only have two foragers to do herbs. And it's gonna be... A note and Eleanor, who live right here. You're gonna be our herbals. And then what are you gonna do? I need to I need to let, let's circle something. Let's let's put an extraction zone right here. Around these two shrubberies. And uh, what are you doing? That's not that's not who I was looking for. Okay, there you are. Wait a minute. It's a note. And Eleanor. Alright, where are you dudes going? I'm gonna follow you. Where are you going? Yeah, just any rando bush that is in an extraction zone, which these two are in. Okay. Oh, but the bushes disappear. Well, okay, so the deciduous forest planters, you there, you must also plant herbs, perhaps? You've collected 20 of 50 herbs. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. All right. And this market's up. So let's go over to this market. You're going to sell herbs, which are a luxury. And the market tender is going to be got a lot or go to lot. Well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? No monastery required. Look at you. Don't you need to get stuff? Don't you need to go? I, I know. Don't give me those eyes. I gotta store it in a granary, okay? I know what I'm doing. Uh, we don't really have a granary. We don't really have a granary for it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Because it's for mod. Everything we do, we do for mod. This is gonna be uh, Amphilis, and you are going to sell corn on the cob. Actually, you're just gonna sell really sweet corn, and then. We'll eat it as corn on the cob. All right, plus three villagers. I'm running behind. I bought some land over there. I need another granary. See, now this is look. This has to be for a bar. Where can I put another granary? How about right here? Right, it's planting land, but what are you going to do? Yep. And I think on this corner would be just about perfect right there for a granary. Let's get that built, and then we'll store some uh, luxuries there. You guys are full already, aren't you? No, you just ran out of things to do? Did I not... I circled that. Does that not count? What are you doing? You're working. Alright, but you're not complaining. I think we're okay. Although maybe you don't... There's no herbs here. We'll get planting. What did you do? She cut that down like a tree. <laughs> well, there's gonna be some competition between herbs here. What? What? Um. All right, just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity, where is? Uh, it's under decoration, right? I'm gonna put down the fancy nature pack right here, and. It just out of curiosity, success probability average, maybe another time, come back. Just out of curiosity, what's an herb here? It's a forsythia shrub, it's not really an herb. Um, berries, unidentified shrub, flowers, lupins. Mullen's an herb, let's... Alright, I'm just gonna plop down some of these. Those herbs? <laughs> there you go. 
There you go. And then will they disappear? And if they disappear, do I have to replant or will they show up again? I don't know. I like it, but I don't know. I, 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 I grew these under grow lights and just planted them out right now. 23 bread. Wow, that's a good bread haul. Let's unlock that trade route. Trade, trade, trade. There we go. Unlock the trade route. Uh, they sell swords. All right, we're selling swords. So why did I close this? I want to buy. Where's swords? Swords. Do you see swords? I know I passed them up. No, I didn't. Swords. I want to buy until inventory reaches five. Just five at a time. There we go. And then I can equip my uh, my soldiers. By the way, I'm I'm watching tools. Twenty three tools here, and the tools are slowly flowing. To here. And uh, did I set up some sales of tools? Sell above the value of 20. Yes, I did. You know what? How many tools do we have? 32? I'm actually going to bump this up to... Uh, I think we should hang on to 50 tools because I'm going to be doing some building. Possibly higher than that, but we'll hang on to 50 tools for now because we got a good tool flow going. All right, is this, uh, is that granary finished? It is? All right. And uh, plus two villagers. We're going to put herbs in here. And uh, just one slot for now. I don't know what else to do here, but we'll assign a bunch of transporters to it. It's uh, Alguin, Enanthagild, Synath, and Geraldus. Herbs. All right, and now maybe you, maybe you can go get some. Hmm? Herbs, you gonna go get some? Do they have any herbs in here yet? I'm waiting for it. 50, there, go get some. Aren't you happy now? Now you can sell some herbs, and then Maud ought to be able to buy some herbs. I wanna see how Maud's doing. And, uh, I wish I could sort by arrival. You can't. Oh, but I can sort by status. There's only one citizen, and that citizen is Maud. Where are you, Maud? All right, yep, there she is. In the shade here. Face lit up in the sun. Maud, first citizen. She's working. Okay, where are we? Hops. Hmm, look at all this stuff, though. So here's the thing. I put down... Can I find the stick? I can't... I can't find the stick of, uh... Fancy Nature Pack. Which is a problem. I can't click on it at all. I wonder if they'll reappear. We're gonna see. We have 50 herbs, and right now, anyway, until I restart the game, the herbs are showing up on the main list. So... That's all we have at the moment, is just 50. There's 50 in the market and that's it. That's interesting. And you cannot... There's not a... Oops. Plant deciduous, plant mix, plant coniferous. No, there's no way to force you to plant herbs. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Just for the heck of it. If I put an extraction zone way over here. Will you? Yes. Yes, you will. You will walk all the way over here to grab some herbs. All right. Definitely will. Okay, so that so we'll have some more herbs. Am I missing a herb farmer? Herb doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. All right. Well, everybody's happy, right? Ninety-eight percent happiness. I don't even want to talk to the two percent that aren't happy. I I feel like I can't help with their little problems. And uh, let me turn off the tool tracker because we got plenty of tools. 
And uh, we don't have any swords at the moment. Is that because the trader's not in here? I'm going to track swords. I don't know where I'm going to be. Oh, I don't have a place to store swords. All right, we got, we got, uh, we got, we got promotion. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's pay 200 to promote all the newcomers to serfs. And no more commoner promotions at the moment. And we're storing swords right here. We're not buying them. We need a warehouse. I put a warehouse up here. Oh, good grief. Cloth, common clothes. I, I hid another warehouse up in here. Here it is. Right. Swords. Now we can buy some swords. Okay. Mod found only rocks nearby. Alright, that's fine. I think we have everything we need. More iron would be nice. As a matter of fact. Bridge. Let's get a bridge. We have plenty of planks, I believe. 110 planks. Look at this. Look at these fields of gold. Well, kind of red and green, but over here. It's a lot of building area over here. Why don't we build a bridge? And why don't we have the bridge cross right here? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's build a bridge. It's going to be under transportation, which is the wheel. And yeah, let's just put a little bridge right over here. How's that look? I want to make sure it's high enough. You guys are walking right there, so surely that would be high enough. And surely that would be high enough. 355 of the planks. Let's get that built. And then we can start buying land over here. Five swords. All right. All right. I don't need to look at you. Uh, we need to go to the army page. And the soldiers. And sort by conditions. They're all wounded, but hey, nobody died. No casualties. I take care of my peeps, except for the wounds. And uh, let's give you all swords. And uh, we do have more room here. Right? Uh, occupation 6 of 18. So let's assign some more soldiers. Uh, as a matter of fact, these four. No access to service. Renildi, Sewer, Aflad, and... I thought Morsent was already in here. But uh, there's another one. All right, plus two villagers. Nope, we got all the soldiers we need. Now, do we still have five weapons? We have three left. One, two, three, and we'll buy some more soon. But the sewer is going to be left without weapons. And then we can send them out and maybe finish an easy mission. That'll help. And d these guys go through the herbs like crazy. 62 herbs now. It's a long walk. I don't feel like these herbs are ever going to come back. You know what I mean? I mean, hopefully this isn't going to, you know, crash the game or anything, but... Let's... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to put this thing right there. Okay? Remember this. Right on this green spot. Right on that green spot. That's where I'm going to put it. And I'm going to plant, I mean, we know mullen works, so it's going to be mullen, 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 That's a mullen. All right. Build it. Look at all that. Look at all of it. It's a, it's a virtual garden. Now. Yeah, it's not working. Well, we're gonna have a lot of <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fancy nature packs, but you oughta you oughta completely full up on herbs, fill up fill up on herbs. Uh, maybe not. Maybe each of those is only worth one herb. No, five. Each of these plants looks like it's worth five herbs. Okay, sixty-seven, sixty-two. And how many of you sold? Four sold sold this week. Mod's going crazy. Buying herbs. All right, let me let me look at mod. Uh, if I can find mod again, we still sorted by citizen. Mod, how is your needs? You you did find luxury, two goods. What's the second good? 
Oh, lightly used clothes and common clothes count as the two goods. I forgot about the two goods, but that's fine. That's fine, thanks to the magic mod. It looks like we do have a service shortage as well. We could build another church. We could build another church. What do I need to unlock the better church pieces? I need 20... Nope, I already unlocked additional parts for the rustic church. Hmm. So I might as well show how to add mods for those of you that have been asking. Um, on the main menu of Foundation, there's the Mods tab right here. And when you go up here, it'll show you Installed Mods and it'll also have the Browse, browse Mods key. If you go over to Browse Mods, there's a search box here and you can also go by tags. I'm going to search for anything that has the word church in it and hit return. And you can see we have an Orthodox Church by Badiushki. That's a little too much for this map. But we have a Rustic Church rework. New parts for the Rustic Church that reduce costs and match the bell tower roof style. Allows building a church without a tower or large core. I like it. That's 105 upvotes and one downvote. Let's, uh, and I already have it downloaded. You see how it says remove report? I already have this downloaded. So let's go over to installed mods now. And if I search for church, sure enough, I have it. So now to add it to an existing game, you click load game. And I just quick saved uh, Devil's Glacier. That's the, uh, the map I'm currently on, which is uh, the Glacier Valley series. So here's this quick save here. I click on this, I hit edit mods. And here's all the mods I have loaded. So we go down here and we're looking for Rustic Church Rework. Here it is right here. I hit the plus button and it adds it to Active Mods now, which is now up in here. And uh, adds it to the bottom of the list. But anyway, now let's load the game. And we're back. And now, under Church, actually if it's just a rework, Under service, I think it just goes as part of the rustic church. So our existing rustic church is unchanged, but if I want to put a new church in, and you know, we probably need a church over here. So I own this whole thing, right? Wrong button. I own this whole thing, yeah. Let's... I could get rid of these rocks. You know, I could put somebody in to get rid of these rocks, but why don't we just deal with the field o rocks? And let's put in a rustic church right here. And now you can see that we have new parts. Here's stone extension A with the thatch roof. And we should have a new core. And I'm not sure what he meant by rework. But anyway. Here's a core right here. And we're going to have to raise this up because you're kind of on a steep hill. Oh, the windows stay at the bottom. Hmm. You're going to be too far eventually. You know, you can pick up these sticks and move the whole thing. Uh, let's put the church, not in the water. Let's put the church over here. Church is going to go right here. Might as well. It'll, it says it's going to increase the value of this neighborhood, but I haven't seen the rustic church do that. But maybe it does. All right, that looks good. Let's put on a front door. Just a simple front door right there. And let's put on a cross. And what else do we have? We can go ahead and build it because there's no requirements now. That's one of the changes. Uh, how many people does this does this thing hold? 20. I mean, I want to put on a tower, so... Let's put on a tower. Let's go ahead and put on an extension. And I will snap it, then click off it, then T to turn off snapping. And we'll scoot it in here. That looks pretty good. And then we got this little awkward spot on the back. Well, what if we move this back here? Uh, turn on snapping again, please. No. Well, we're already squared up. So what if I just put this back in here? Something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There's a little church. And uh, do I have anything else? Now, I could add to this the windows, right? Oh, the windows aren't showing up on here. Where is the windows? Windows. Windows. Here they are. Window set. I'll put the window set over here. And why don't we put a nice window in our rustic church? 
Something simple. Well, this night might not be the simplest thing, but come on, it looks good. And uh, there is no... I'm going to turn on snapping. But I don't think you're going to snap anywhere. Now, the nice thing about these windows is that they have this way to raise them up and down. And then I can stick them here. I'm, I'm back a little bit more. No access to service. Don't worry about it. I'm working on it. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put another door over here. Uh, wrong one. Uh, I'm going to put another door here. Do I want to put another window here? How about a small window? Do we have any small... Well, we have this little... What is this? A flame? I don't know what that is. Small windows. Nope, they're all big. These too big. I want a small little window. Uh, oh yeah, like maybe this little round window. Don't give me the too far. You're fine. So let's raise this up. And this just gives me a way to put something on the church. How's that look? Alright, that looks pretty good. Check it out. Okay, now the problem is I'm going to hit build on the church. Then I'm going to hit build here. And these are actually done first, but uh, we'll just pretend like that didn't happen. It'll look great once it's done. All right. And we have five more swords in stock, so let me bring up the soldier menu. And there you go. And then as far as, why aren't you fully trained yet? I got plenty of dummies. You guys are so slow. How many people live up here, by the way? Just seven of 18 occupation up here so far. That's unfortunate. You know what? I do want to put in some bushes. Uh, decoration. Bushes. I do want to bush, bush gun this stuff up a little bit because I believe that if you ever get promoted, you may want to live somewhere a little better. And, uh, you know, it's uh, shrubbery in between the homes. I think that's good. That'll definitely be higher quality. 198 herbs. Oh, they're all... <laughs> no, they're not all gone yet. You're full. Good. You're absolutely full. You're full here. We still have these mullins here, and you're full over here. Perfect. Okay. Week 4, day 5. Let's look at this, the citizen thing here. I've got 19 commoners, and I need, what, 20? Just 20 commoners? Right? To unlock the tavern, just... 20 commoners and 20 labor splendor. All right, uh, we have 17 labor splendor. I need, I need splendorage. All right, we get one. There's that fancy dress. I need one uh, more tent here. I think we'll do it because each of these tents is uh, decorative tent is two and plus one villager. Anything else here? What else gives me... Man, nothing except those tents. Well, that's the way it goes. Uh, do I have any more that I can put tents on? Well, obviously we need, we need more food stalls, right? So we might as well put them in. There's the monthly report. Why don't we put them in over here? I'm just going to do this really quick. Because I was, uh, the game keeps interrupting me. I'm going to put two food stalls in. One and two. And then two of the tents. One and two. And then maybe a clothing market over here. Might as well. And the clothing market will go right here. And a green tent. And get that built please. And then promotions are available. 160 to promote all the newcomers to serfs. I need one more commoner. Oh, this is nice. I didn't know you could do this. All right, you could leave that, that box up while you do all of this. Let's sort by name. Yurik the Builder, welcome to commoner status. Babblefish, the translator, the forager. Mathematician, the carpenter. Your needs worry me. Commoner status. Abraham. Okay, this is Sybil with a Y. The market tender. 
And, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could promote from here? And the flan can. There, flan can, the transporter. Friends call him can. All right, we've got upgrades. I now have 20 commoners. What can we unlock? Don't have the 20 labor splendor yet, but soon. All right, mod is available for a mandate. We do have one more mineral deposit that we somehow discovered way up on the hill here. So mod, see what you can find there. It's a long walk. You'll be fine. Waiting for a builder. Okay, I'm a, I need to high prioritize some of these things because I'm tired of waiting. Get a builder over here, please. Why don't I go ahead and put another builder's workshop, like right along the rock wall here. Right along the road. There we go. And let's fill this out really quick. Look at all these unemployed. Aslina, Gospoldus, and Piaris. I missed. Piaris. There. We do have some room here in this residential area. I'm, I want to activate the, uh, the marble mine. Let's, uh, let's, let's put another residential area, just a little square residential area over here. The market's been built. Okay, that, that should have given me enough splendor. We don't really need a lot of marble. I am going to place this, just one of these over here. And you gotta have a marble wheelbarrow. And that should be enough. Let's get that built eventually. You can live over here. That'll get the marble up. I might be able to unlock... I was looking at the soldiers. They're still partly trained and wounded. It's so slow without that monument that speeds things up. We have 19 splendor. <laughs> One more market and we'll be there. So we have 31 coal, 180 iron, 51 iron bars... I could probably make more tools. What do I need to unlock? The weaponsmith is 15 kingdom splendor and some kingdom influence. Okay. Okay. Uh, kingdom splendor. Um, obviously, we need some, some flags or banners or something. Let's see what we got there. Um, these little flags, this is zero. This banner is two. That's really zero? But the banner is two. The wall banner. Uh, can it go here? I have snapping on? I do have snapping on. Can it go here? It, it can. Is this the biggest banner we have? Yep. Well, we'll put one. We're gonna have a ton of kingdom influence. And we'll put another one over here. There we go. Okay, that's going to give us a ton of influence. Good. Alright, any of the markets finished yet? We've got some markets up. Okay, now... Yes. We should have... Give me a break. 19 Labor Splendor? Why? Because this isn't finished yet. It doesn't count until she's finished. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Ta-da! Market built. Alright, the Splendor of Your Village is unlocked. Some stuffs. Alright, by the way, I was going to do here, I was going to do berries and fish. And eh, fish? 322 corn. You're going to sell some corn over here, too. Dang it, keep clicking on the wrong one. You're going to sell some corn. And then over here, you're going to you're gonna sell some uh, regular common clothes. And our market tenders are going to be Eams, Ioni, and Leotard, or just Latard. Wearing tights. Okay, now. Can I click on this? I can. Here we go. 20 commoners, 20 labor splendor, 25 influence. We're going to unlock the tavern for three. The tavern wall. The tavern stone set, which I get a ta-da. And then the Lord Manor stone set. There we go. Okay, I can finally build a tavern. Hooray. And uh, actually now, kingdom, we've, we've built some banners. So, that would be... Actually, I think I could unlock, unlock these before. The wooden wall for three. Large stone wall for three. I need to find the horseman to run some more, uh, to run some more quests so I can get some kingdom influence. And uh, I continually miss that message. Alright, I thought the tavern would go well right here. And uh, here's the tavern. And let's see here. I like, 
I like the stone hall. So let's put the stone hall right here. And then... What do we have next to it? We have the stone extension. Okay, we're going to need to move scoot the whole thing over a little bit. I'm going to need a kitchen, too. There's a stone extension. Let's put the door right there. And then the kitchen. Got to have a kitchen. And the kitchen's down here. The kitchen does not have to be attached, but... I think it looks pretty good attached. There's the kitchen attached there. How about this little side dealio? Uh, yeah, that's good. That fits. Okay. That'll give me enough room. And then... The front's a little barren. Okay, no. This is another job for the uh, window. Window set. Right here. How about just medium simple windows? Right? Let's raise them up. It's still too high. 3D is hard. There, how's that look? They're not exactly the same height. But you know... Can you scoot? I think that looks okay. It gives some fill. Maybe if I lower both of them down a little bit. It'll look a little better. Yeah, two extra windows there. That's good. We'll leave it at that. Let's go ahead and build the windows and build the tavern. We need 115... Planks, 30 polished stone, 55 tools, 100 regular stone, 20 wood, and polished stone, we, we do have 30, just barely. We have zero planks due to the bridge, and six wood possibly also due to the bridge. Uh, yeah, we're almost done with the bridge, though. And uh, so that's just going to be slow. Right, but uh, we'll get the bridge finished and then we can get the tavern finished. All right, we do have some extra kingdom splendor now so we can open up some more stuff. It is promotion time. Again, Weaponsmith produces a sword in exchange for iron, coal, and tools. There we go. And then the wooden keep decorative. Ta-da! Okay, we can make a Weaponsmith now. It is promotion time. Promotion's available. I'm just going to do the straight 180 to promote all the newcomers to serfs. That's it. We have 91% happiness. It says we have a service shortage. I think as soon as this is built, we'll be fine. But I'm using up all our wood. Remind me where my extraction zones are. Over here? Yeah, we've already got a, uh, a warehouse here. Why don't, we, why don't we slap in some woodcutters right here? Woodcutter camp. Right back in here. Get that built eventually, and then we can cut down some more of these pine trees. Mod found a gold deposit. How about that? That's two gold deposits. I can't sell gold bars to anybody, can I? For a few extra bucks. It's uh, trained. Wants to buy, no gold. Wants to buy, no gold. Wants to buy, no gold. Now, I could add extra trade routes. There are mods for extra trade routes. But not yet. Not yet. I'm trying to figure out what the soldier situation is. The partly trained, give me a break. Okay, we're just going to go out on a mission. Military mission available. What do you got? Easy. Prepare my troops right away. Uh, military mission. Uh, let me think about it. I'm trying to get to this. There we go. Help requested. Prepare the troops. Right. Let's sort on uh, the fully and mostly trained. You'll be fine. Does this change your strength? Is that what it is? Mostly, fully trained is 6 strength, mostly trained is 4 strength, partly trained is 2 strength. That's fine. It's just a strength number. We'll go all the way down to Simon, and you two wounded will sit this one out. Send them away. I feel like I should put in another forester hut. What do I own? I don't own this territory, and we're just about max cash. I've purchased the territory. And I am going to put in another one of our custom forester huts. And, wait a minute, sorry, remind me. Yeah. Should probably go somewhere down in here. Yeah, I think that's, that's just fine. Okay, go ahead and build that. Get this built. And then we'll plant some more. I'd say mixed. A mixture of both pine and deciduous. And then 678 berries. That's not a problem yet. I haven't looked at the budget the whole episode. How are we doing? 
Uh, we made 1,382 the previous month, and so far this month, 470. We're doing fine, and I believe it is tool, tool sales is really helping, along with polished stone and berry sales for trade. And then as far as to the villagers, the berries are worth the most, and fish is way down there. I'm surprised we don't have more fish. I've got only four fishermen. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. All right, the lumber camp's up. So let's assign three woodcutters. It's uh, Royce, Theodric, and Lou. I'm in the Lou. And you're going to cut... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and expand the extraction zone in anticipation of getting that built. This extraction zone is going to go all the way down here. Well, it's going to go all the way where the borders are. Envoy requests an audience. I heard it. Hold still. Deliver five bread. We have 19 bread. Do I have it stored anywhere? I do not. I have another granary though where I can store bread. There, and we have four transporters. All right. I shall assist the, who do I want to assist? We still have 15 influence here. We only have two here. We have seven here. And I don't have 20 clergy splendor yet. And we've almost locked, unlocked everything here. Except for the hunter's hut. And then the trade bonus. Hmm, but I do need one more. We'll do, we'll do the kingdom. I shall assist the king. 200 gold and 10 influence. There, the 19 bread is on the move. There it goes. And... 19 bread. Uh, deliver five bread to the kingdom. Ta-da! Alright, let's finish the unlocks in the kingdom then. It is the hunter's hut. Yay. Uh, and you know what? We Of course we need the hunter's hut for the tavern. You know what else we need for the tavern? Is we're going to need uh, moo cows for cheese. Where are the cows? Here we go. Dairy farm. And I... let's see... Um, extreme still, keep them with you. Yeah, they get to go to stage two. Where should the cows be? This is gonna be... Where's that extraction zone going? It's on the other side. Um, put the cows near the corn. Let's put the cows... we kind of have a road here. Let's put the cows here. Up on the, near the hill. All right, and they can wander up the hill. There we go. The cows go there. Get that built. And why don't we go ahead and build a uh, cheese steak? Nope. A cheeser, not the blacksmith. What are the what is the cheeser called? <laughs> it's called uh, cheese maker. Boy, that's hard to remember. Uh, the cheeser, you know. And uh, yeah, let's get the cheeser built right here. There we go. There's the cheese. And then, in addition, and that this tavern's not going to be finished until next year. Did I need... I leave enough room for another granary. This granary is still kind of sort of empty. We can store cheese here. And we can store boar here. But we can't store beer. Which is the most important thing. And I don't have any beer to sell yet. We, we need that hops farm over here. And it would be nice if this area was cleared out. Well, obviously, what I'm supposed to do here is... Uh, I can paint a hunting zone. Is I'm supposed to paint an extraction zone. What are we, almost max cash? I gotta buy two of them. I want this one. And I'll be taking this one too. And we're broke. We're gonna want to paint an extraction zone that basically covers this whole area. No. Covers this whole area, right? And then I'm gonna want to put in another... Where are they gonna live over here, man? I, I'm gonna need a residential zone over here, too. I don't know, let's, st let's stick another residential zone over in here. Alright, and then... There's the residential zone. I'm gonna need a well before I forget. You know, just show me the zoning areas, please. Let's put the well right on the edge of this zoning area, maybe right here. 
and that we don't have the money to build it. You knew that was going to happen because I spent all the money on a property. But hey, I had to make the property purchase. It was important. There, the well, the well's built. I'll build a market we can when we can afford it better. I'm going to want to build a gathering hut. Now, how much do I need to build one of those? Probability is high. Nope, bring them back. Uh, where's the gathering hut? Gathering hut's way over here. I'm going to want to put a gathering hut over here. I'm going to put you along the road right next to the to where the cows are going to be built. And uh, you're going to gather the herbs in here to try to clear this, this place out. And then I suppose we're going to need another uh, lumber camp. And you're the... Oh, you're the cheeser. Yeah, you're not that negative. You're the cows. Right? Cheeser. I'm making up these names as I go along. We're going to put the lumber camp up in here. And then you're going to help cut down these these trees. And I'm going to leave the rocks. Forester hut's built. Okay. We need a zone. You're going to do a mixed forest. Because we're kind of sort of on the hill. We're going to paint a crop field for you. And your crop field is going to be... Okay, there's your planting zone. And this is going to be... Jelly. <laughs> jelly is going to plant some a mixed forest. I got that right. Mixed forest to sign. Okay, good. How, how is our wood numbers? Wood's now up to 93. Planks is up to 8. Did the bridge get finished? What's taking you guys so long? Waiting for a builder. I thought I high-prioritized this. Now it's high-prioritized. Yep, Yurik. Get the bridge finished, please. Alright, I'm watching swords and bread. I don't need to watch either. Let's turn off the bread. Let's turn off the swords. We have 25 tools. I think we can make more tools. I want to build another blacksmith. I know, you're a big negative. Uh, right next to these houses. Eh, what are you going to do? You know, my iron zones always end up being too small. Outside territory. I need to put... I need to wind you over here. Okay, how much cat? I'm we're up to 989 again already. There, I bought this. That was a waste of money. But I want my blacksmith way over here. Yep, the blacksmith goes over here. It's not an invalid position. Here we go. I want you facing this way. No, I don't. I changed my mind. I want you facing this way. There you go. Build it. Hopefully you can walk through this little path here. If not, I may have to rethink this. We're right at the edge of the... Ooh. There's the sundial. Well built. And then... Weaponsmith. The weaponsmith is not a negative. Okay. That means... I'm gonna put the weaponsmith right here because there's space. While wow, there's still space. Right behind this, these houses. Weaponsmith. We need 500 bucks to build it. We should have it shortly. Money's not a problem. Don't even tell me money's a problem. Money's not a problem. All right, while well, I'm waiting for that, the bridge is finished. We need to figure out... Oh, 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 oh! Weaponsmith's being built. We need to figure out if the bridge works. The easiest way to figure out if the bridge works is to uh, put a well over here on the other side. And uh, I don't want to buy any territory. We're just going to put a well right... Here. Build it. Waiting for a builder. High priority. Priority. Sperling is bringing tin wood. The bridge worked. Yay. Okay. We're doing a lot of building. Let's slow it down to speed one. Where is the sun today? We can look at this side of the village. Because uh, we have light. We have seen the light on this side of the village anyway. Can you get a little higher? A little higher. Anyway, that's going to be it for this time. Glacier Valley, we're filling up the valley. And uh, it's next time out. We're going to have the tavern for everyone, I hope. And uh, we're slowly catching up on the build process. We still have a lot of unemployed, but uh, we'll get there. And then we'll be making our own weapons. And uh, maybe I need some more mods. If you got a favorite mod, leave it in the comments. And uh, I'll see if I can add it to the village. But anyway, that's going to be it for this time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.